Howdy howdy ladies and gentlemen, today's video is all about the stasis subclasses, aspects and fragments, what they are and how to unlock them. So firstly I want to mention that the latest stasis aspects released are unlocked in a different way to the previous ones and so I will have a video covering each of them separately and that this video is about the first two sets of aspects and fragments released. Links to the new aspects can be found in the video description. So the the aspects are unique abilities that each class has access to. The first Warlock aspect can freeze surrounding foes when they cast their Rift class ability, and the second one can spawn an Ice Fire Bolt that will seek out a nearby target and freeze them. Note that bosses will not get frozen, but can still be shattered to proc other abilities and buffs. For the Titan, the first aspect they get will be a buff to the slide mechanic. This will increase the length of the slide and will now also allow you to shatter frozen enemies and ice walls created by grenades. Then the second one is when they shatter a stasis crystal it creates a stasis shard and this stasis shard grants melee energy when picked up by you or your allies. And finally for the hunter, the first aspect they gain access to is an air move ability that will force your character to plummet to the floor and shatter all surrounding foes and ice walls. The second aspect hunters will get affects the dodge ability by adding a slow effect to surrounding enemies for a short amount of time. Now for the stasis fragments, which are the same for all classes, but are limited how many fragment slots you have. For each of the aspects, there are a unique number of fragment slots each one has, and these slots dictate to how many stasis fragments you can actually equip to that character. Also, currently each stasis aspect can have anywhere between 0 and 3 fragment slots. So the Warlock gets access to 4 fragment slots from 2 of the aspects they currently have in the game. The Titan can get up to 3 fragment slots, and the Hunter can gain two currently, but may have changed with the new ones. Now we will quickly cover all the fragments and their effects. So first off is the fragment Whisper of Headruns, and this will grant bonus weapon damage after freezing a target with stasis, and this also reduces your strength stat by 10. Secondly, we have Whisper of Fishes, and this increases the damage and burst radius of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. Next is the Whisper of Refraction, and this fragment provides class ability energy when defeating a frozen or slowed enemy. Whisper of Dr Endurance increases the duration of slow effects and those with lingering effects also last longer and will also boost your strength stat by 10 points. The next fragment is Whisper of Bonds and this will grant super energy when defeating frozen targets with your weapons. However, this does reduce both your intellect and discipline by 10 points. And lastly, we have Whisper of Shards and when this is equipped, shattering a stasis crystal boosts your grenade recharge rate and shattering Shattering additional crystals will increase the duration of this effect. Now we have covered what the aspects and fragments are and what they do, it's time to explain how to unlock all these awesome abilities for any of your characters. Yes that's right, it's doing the exact same set of quests for all your characters so get ready to run them all multiple times. These quests will want you to complete will be the Born in Darkness set and these will actually unlock all the grenades abilities as well. In total there are five steps to the Born in Darkness questline, with each one generally consisting of two steps which will be to do specific things with the stasis class and abilities and then go to one of the Crooks of Darkness to finish off that step. So you will want to grab step one from the Exo Stranger or check your quest tab if you have already grabbed one, go and complete it and return to the Exo Stranger for the next quest step. Once you have completed all of these, the Exo Stranger will start to give you two weekly quests to complete that will unlock a stasis fragment for you to equip. The added bonus with these quests is that you will get to choose what activity to complete it in between the Strike playlist and the Crucible and Gambit ones. One last tip is that you can just grab both quests for the same playlist and complete them simultaneously to speed things up. 
So I hope you have all found this video helpful or informative. And if you haven't already, then how about hitting that subscribe button and help me help you more. If you want to show extra support or want to give your opinion on the video, then you can always give me a thumbs up or down and or even leave me a comment down below. You can also catch me streaming over on Twitch and I'll leave the link in the description down below. If you want to get my notifications on videos and live streams or just join in an awesome community and chat and make some new friends and possibly even make some new teammates then how about joining my discord server and make it a more awesome place to be so thank you all for your viewership and as always keep safe keep well and i'll catch you later yeah i got the 110 hand cannon bit i love using them <laughs> jump in and jump in snipe i'm about to say jump in no scope snipe